Good evening guys. I wasn't going to make a video this evening, but uh, I've been having a tidy up and I found this. Oh. And I found these old hard, dri hard drives. I've got in that box of computer parts. So, curiosity has gotten the better of me. I want to know if it works. <laughs> Probably doesn't, but we might as well have a bit of fun. So, I'm going to take this. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this case. I may just... I think I'll end up taking this motherboard out, actually. So that's yet another dial-up modem to the collection. You don't need that, really. Uh, all I want... Just to see if that actually registers and does anything. I'm going to plug in... Balls! I'll be right back. I need a video card. No, actually, I'm going to take you with me. So, I'll show you what I've been up to. Probably doesn't look like a lot, but I can assure you I have been doing things. As you can see, I've had a bit of a... Um, shift that computer up to that corner, is what I meant to say. The uh, beige tower, because it was lying down here on the floor, so I've put that up there out, out of the way. Uh, oh, I've got to show you on our way through. All the scrap has gone. I'm just going to piece that Dell tower back together and throw that in with a job lot of PCs. Uh, this one's working, so that's going to go with a job lot of PCs. Uh, there's one under the bed I'll get rid of, I don't want any more. And uh, that lot up this corner, there's six up there all together, I'm going to keep them for now. I know one's an empty case, and I think it's this top one. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't, it's got everything in it. One of them's an empty case. That's this one. That's the empty case. Uh, what the fuck did I come in here for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pardon my language. I do try my best not to use bad language. Uh, shouldn't be. Yeah, no, excellent way of uh, storing the motherboard, isn't it? Another bit. <laughs> Another bit. And what AGP card? That'll do. So I need to uh, see if this uh, hard drive works. I will need to pull out one of the other cases to uh, test the other hard drive. Because that's a hard drive. Well, actually, in fact, I don't need the cases. I can pull out one of the motherboards. So, just go ahead and slot this in. Can't believe Another board like this that doesn't actually have built in video. Or everything else. Oh, it's only got two USB ports as well. Mmm. Right. That's plugged in, that's plugged in. I did keep an IDE cable somewhere. Right here. Uh, oh, it's around the other way on this board. IDE one is this one. Usually the top one of of the two is IDE2. So it's going to be really, this might make some weird and wonderful noises when we turn it on, or it might blow up, so we might get the magic smoke. So, uh, let's uh, see. Oh, it's because I haven't put any memory in that last. Should, should we try again with some memory? It's not going to work with any system, without system RAM, is it? So, we'll plonk a stick. Bright idea. Whoops, whose bright idea was it to put the cables there? Right. 
turn the switch off at the back. Yeah, I did. Here we go again. when I unplug the hard drive. You have an AMD Athlon on here. It's recognised I've got DDR memory plugged in. Keyboard error or no keyboard problem. So, the system works. It just doesn't want to turn on when that plugged in, so maybe that is completely dust. We'll try again. Turn that off. Plug that in. Well, the plat spins freely, so it's not getting stuck. Flip the switch. Nope, that is the hard drive. That is completely naff. SATA port on it, either or, not first. That seems to be the easiest I can get to, so that'll do. And it's got, yeah, it's got SATA ports on it. Mm. It's almost like the camera's bloody flying, isn't it? Right. Yeah. So I'm not actually 100% certain what I'm going to do with this case yet. It's got the panel missing for this side. Mm -hmm. That doesn't matter, does it? It might be. I might build it up. I don't know. But I think about it. But for, for the time being, I can go down there. Right. So I'm going to need this power supply. Get that out from underneath my shirt. We need the 12 volt plugged in. We need the main power plugged in. We need a memory stick. I did keep one through here for this, this specific reason. I'll stick it out. Get it out. Other way around. Yep, this has got... Duh, you can't even see, can you? There we go. No, you can't. Not that I'm doing anything very interesting, I'm just bored at the minute. There, 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 there. This one's an SATA drive. So we need an SATA power connector. There's only one on this power pack. Cable I made earlier. Over there. In the back of the drive. Like so. Put the power in. Ah, I've forgotten something else that's important. There's no switch. So, what is? 
updating the motherboard. Oh, don't hit the switch. And something else as well. A couple of old laptop hard drives. I don't think that's actually going to read looking at the state of that. Top one. But one's an IDE and one's a SATA. But for the IDE drive, I've got this adapter. Which is about a pound off of eBay if you really want one. I don't think you'd have much use for one these days. As even laptop drives are SATA and they will fit these normal desktop connectors. So, someone shouting out there. Okay, what header is that? These are the USB headers, so this must be the. Yeah, it is. That is the front panel header. So I'll go on there. So now we go. <laughs> it looks like the reader is stuck. But uh, it has turned on. Let's see if it actually recognises in the uh, BIOS. I don't know what the BIOS button is on this one. Yeah. It's not going to have a BIOS button, is it? I haven't got the keyboard plugged in. That's not a happy hard drive, is it? Right, so I've got to turn it off and start again. Dell. It's the delete button on this one. Eventually, entering setup, come in. No, it hasn't recognised it. <laughs> We have some fun with the hard drive. Coming up. Let's <laughs> <laughs> put a lovely ring around it. Should we do another one? I don't know if the rings are coming up on this. Here it is. It's not even a second either. Oh, <laughs> that is unhappy now.
<laughs> oh. I think I have officially killed it. <laughs> hard drive now. <laughs> oh. Oh. Just jammed it up, I think. I think it is the end of it. It's trying to. Jim. Okay. I've still got some battery left on the camera, so let's do it later. Do another one. Not that one. And do this one. Power. Same to you. Move the head and it stopped. Listen to this. You ever heard a power pack make that noise before? do that.
cracked it again. <laughs> Damn you, spin! <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun now. down to a little circle. I have. <laughs> There's nothing left of the flower. <laughs> it's just a metal disc that goes through the middle. It's all that's left. <laughs> all this glass I've got to pick up. I didn't know some of them had glass plows. Do now. make pretty circles, so we smash it. Well, I've got this one to power up. And power up the hook. Yay! Metal platter!
Well, if there was any data on these, I smack it now. It's making that little electrical buzz noise when I do this. watching Aussie 50 too much. Well, it's still going. Jeez. Surely that killed it. Yep, it's not spinning, it's got stuck. Oh, 
in the future I'm going to put safety glasses on just in case <coughs> so I think that's it for this video bit of uh, destruction might as well have some fun with them because they were knackered anyway so here's the plate um, top plate for one of them don't know which one it went to Uh, what was it? It was a Western Digital. Ah, this went to the IDE hard drive, so it's the one I just butchered. <laughs> Completely butchered. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to give a drive size on this one. That's weird. Western Digital usually do. Enhanced IDE drive. Yeah, not anymore. Was an enhanced IDE drive. 4th of September 2002. Cannot cover any drive holes. All the usual jargon. Uh, no. It actually does not give the drive size. Product warranty will be void if seal, label or cover is removed or damaged. Uh, it's a bit late for that. Yeah. Oh well. Bin. Bin. Actually I'll probably move those to the scrap tray later. Okay, I think I'll put that power pack in motherboard for enough torture, turning it on and off, on and off. Uh, unplug all that. Uh, I want to break something else now, I've got nothing to break. Oh! Ooh, glass platter down there. And down by the fridge, I better watch my feet. Turn that light off, we don't need that on anymore. Oh dear. What a pity. Could actually blow stuff up in the kitchen as well if I wanted to. And by blow stuff up I mean make things go bang in a puff of smoke. Because if it trips out the electric it won't harm the computer because this the uh, lounge sockets on a different circuit. Unless of course it decides to take out the main uh